Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for some uh, Sim Airport, Vanilla International Airport. My name is Sean and when we left off we have all sorts of stuff going on. Actually, I don't quite remember what we did have going on when we left off. Looks like we have a bunch of traffic. That's one thing. Ah, when we left off, I was going to try to build some roads so we could get better traffic flow through here. I believe that was going to be my priority for today. So what does that mean? Well, I'm not sure myself. Um, I believe the first step is uh, going to be running a, lo uh, a load. How about running a load of roads uh, down along this inside path here? I don't think there's any problem with passengers uh, crossing over the top of roads. Um, so hopefully that is not going to be a problem because I'm just going to run the road along this inside track. And uh, there was another upgrade today. They did all sorts of great stuff in the updates. Um, uh, as usual, it did mention that it may not work properly with, uh, <laughs> with old saves. So, oh boy, uh, I don't really know how that's going to work out. Uh, but um, I am uh, streaming. It's too late for you guys when you watch this because uh, uh, by the time this is posted, this will be over with. But uh, today I am streaming Sim Airport, and so um, I will get to see how well... Uh, the new uh, stuff works out and and uh, I'm kind of excited about that um, so uh, I believe the archives on stream stay up uh, stay up for two weeks uh, so if you catch this within two weeks of the release uh, day you can uh, head over there and check it out and uh, see for yourself how things went uh, with the new uh, the new things and uh, see how they go with the new things on this even though they're old things as far as uh, this video is concerned um, or wait a minute that doesn't make any sense this is not a new start that's kind of what I was getting at uh, but we're gonna see how this new road works out and whether because uh, one of the things that vehicles are supposed to do now is choose between two paths uh, among many other things like this sort of thing was supposed to have been cleared up with the new patch and obviously it hasn't been <laughs> um, and also the fact that uh, so like when I rescheduled all these planes, or when I readjusted all their times and everything, it didn't really fix the problem because what it does is, on the patch today, it, it changed it. Like previously, they had been showing up based on when the flight leaves as opposed to when the flight gets in. So that's why nobody has been here when the flight arrives. They only start showing up like as it gets close. Like right here, you can see now they're starting to show up because it departs in 70 minutes. And... Um, uh, there was some discussion that that was not backwards compatible, uh, so we'll see. We will see. Uh, but that means I didn't really need to have, I don't really need to have these stretched out quite the way that I do. So if we can get everything working fine, that means we're going to be able to squeeze some additional flights in here. Now we've got, we've got our fifth gate. Do we have a fifth gate already? Oh, oh! isn't that cute? It's not in use yet, but it's down there. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to dismantle it because uh, it's going to be a while before we get to use that. I don't know what I was thinking building this area out because we have to build a lot of tarmac to be able to use that gate. Um, oh well, it's all right. Yeah, I just wasn't thinking when I expanded this area out there, I'll be honest. Because uh, that is um, a whole lot of tarmac. Not that we won't be able to afford it, because we will be able to afford it. But, you know, it's going to be a while before we get to that. So, what's up with you? Are you just stuck there, truck? Looks like you might be. I haven't run into that problem for a while. Yeah, that's too bad. And it doesn't look like any of the uh, vehicles are using our side. Uh, ah, but good news, we are getting kitchen deliveries. But yeah, none of these vehicles are using the side road to speed up the drop-offs, drop offs, which is the whole point of building this side road there. So that's too bad. I guess I could eliminate this road in here, although I'm not sure what would happen with that truck stuck on top of the road. You usually don't want to 
delete roads from underneath uh, underneath where vehicles are already sitting. So I don't really want to do that quite off the top. Looks like that guy missed his flight. So here, you know, nobody is lining up in the queues yet, even though boarding starts in 13 minutes. What are you guys waiting for? I like they're all kind of hanging around near the queues and the boarding desk. And so now, yeah, this departs in 200 minutes. Well, that's too bad. Oh, I really don't want to, uh, really don't want to abandon this airport. We keep having to start airports over. And like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? Look at this, you guys. Come on. Look at all of this open ticketing stuff that I have here. And you guys are all standing there trying to use the three first ticketing kiosks. That just doesn't make any sense. Killing me. And this flight leaves in two hours and still now finally people are starting oh only 96 people getting on it so it's not like it's really that big a deal this one somehow missing one passenger oh no he made it good everybody made it on that one looks like we'll get most people on this one so it's not all bad news I guess People are queuing up now, but see, what's going on, you guys? That just doesn't make any sense. I think part of that is because we don't want to have uh, zones, like, running into each other. That kind of causes some problems. But look at all these people not using any of this queue. I sure hope they get that fixed. Oh, I, I say that and they immediately start using that queue. Okay, uh, people are standing in line for this one, which is real nice. Uh, even though it's not, uh, although these, well, no, this one, I was going to say some of these late night ones, um, no, this one just has a really tight window. Arrives at 1800 and leaves at 2000. When does it start uh, boarding? It's already 1910. Let's see what is that? That's 719. Seven nineteen. Oh, why do I have you set to a such a tiny window? There's no way that that flight is going to get in and out in that amount of time. Yikes! That's uh, that's not good. That's a that's an afternoon flight. I need to switch you two around. I'm gonna put you down here. And I'm gonna put you up here. I'm gonna shrink you down to a normal size because you're just a normal size flight. And you definitely should not be crammed in there like that. That is uh, that is pretty bad um, scheduling on my part. Um, can I? I need to shrink you down because there's no point in having you set for that long anyways. And then I'm going to move you to like there and then I'll s just actually I'll just leave it like that. But even there, okay, 250, right? Yeah, yeah, you're five and a quarter. All right, because there's no way this thing. Boarding starts in 30 minutes. You're supposed to leave at 20. How? Okay, just I'm just not going to worry about it. And And oh boy, look at that mess. Now I've got myself a little worried. Let's make sure I don't have any other problems over here. Make sure these are all big flights. 400. Five and a quarter. 250 is fine. And then you two are both large, right? Yeah, okay, that's good. All right. Should be able to handle all of that. Um, we still have a ton of money. So let's go ahead and build that um, taxiway. And we can put the... Uh, we can go ahead and put in our... Uh, put in our uh, gate down here. Start expanding out this side of the airport. 
which will allow us to rearrange a few of the flights, I guess. It departs in negative 30 minutes, and it's only just now starting to board, so whatever the next flight is, probably already been canceled. Canceled, reserve, failed to reserve runway. Well, that's a different one. Oh, failed to reserve runway. This one, failed to reserve gate. Yeah, that's uh, 4637. Uh, I don't know how it hasn't canceled yet. I don't understand how we couldn't have reserved a runway. We have a lot of runways. What are you upset about? E minus 110? Hmm, I don't blame you, food worker. E underscore 110 indeed. Is that... Uh, I don't have inventory or something? I don't want to fire you. Blah, look at that. Yep, Arg is right. You're, you have every reason to be upset. I'm a little upset myself. Um, Alright, planning clear. I'm going to go ahead and clear that stuff out. And I'm going to clear out. Oh, let's clear that out as well. I guess I don't really need that. Oh, I think that was there for a runway purposes, but you know what? We're just going to go ahead and clear this stuff out. I'm going to clear out up here because that's all been built. That was really quick. I really didn't waste any time building that except for that one segment right there. Well, do I want to put a fifth runway in down here? <laughs> I mean, I might as well, right? Tarmac or taxiway. Do like that. Objects. Where's the runway? Runway. Put you right there. For sure. And uh, build the taxiway. Connect you up like that. There we go. We've got a new runway. Um, all these runways are all in good shape, so I don't need to worry about them. We can speed things up again. Maybe. Well, there's no passengers, so, you know, at least I don't have to worry about that. Um, this plane departs, and it's like, oh my gosh. There's a lot of passengers that just missed a flight for some reason. Wow, look at all those unhappy passengers. Is there anybody on that flight? Wait, okay, so it must have been a different one. I don't get why, uh, oh, what's that guy up to? Hey, that's totally inappropriate behavior inside the airport, sir. Gonna have to ask you at least to go into the restroom for something like that. Nope, oh, sending him home. Well, at least he stopped shaking around so badly. I'm not gonna expand on what it looked like he was doing. I'll let you make up your own mind. But yeah, look at this. Come on, you guys. Seriously. There's really no need to bunch up on those. It's, it, you know, it's all well and good to think that you have to restart your game once a week, like when you're playing. You know what I mean? Like if I was playing this and not recording it and just playing... It wouldn't matter because, like, I'd be at day 28 already in, in, like, one day. And, like, I would be starting a new airport, you know, every couple of days or something. But, you know, I'm it, it's taken me, what episode is this? Like, episode 11 or something? So it's taken me 11 days to get just six hours into this airport. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you probably can get 15 hours out of one airport in this game before you kind of run out of room, and I, I would really like to get close to that. Oh, it still thinks that's outdoors, huh? I would like to get close to that s amount in this airport, but with uh, with like the, that clumping and stuff that's going on over there, it's just uh, it's just not good. Um, and I don't, you know, like I don't blame the. Uh, developer what's he gonna do you know he's not gonna uh, he's trying to he's trying I can't fire that worker either 
well, um, you know, he's trying to make the best game that he can, and uh, uh, I'm sure we'll see this afternoon that a, uh, a brand new airport uh, runs really smooth. Um, but gosh, it really makes it hard to make a series when when you've got stuff like that that going on. That just and then you have so many employees standing idle. Well, you've got all these customers over here and all these machines standing idle, you know? Especially when, like, this was, this was working really well just recently. Now all of a sudden, it's not working so well. Try, uh, let's try uninstalling these and see what happens. I mean, they're going to have to go get their tickets somewhere, right? They're going to mostly try to queue up in one queue, even though we've got three queues and who knows how many ticket desks. But this is still faster than... Uh, still faster than what was going on. That's for sure. And they don't seem to be clumping up at the security gates anymore, so at least there's that. They are using all using one uh, queue pretty predominantly. Okay, no, never mind. They're spreading out a little bit. Alright, and they seem to be spreading out up here a little bit too, so that's not... It's better than it was, that's for sure. Because when they were all just clumping up here waiting to use one of three uh, ticket machines. Obviously, they weren't going to ever get anywhere. Um, this is supposed to depart in 30 minutes. Where all the passengers are for that one. This one's deplaning. It's fine. I don't know why it's taking an hour and a half for it to deplane. There we go. And then now, why, why, why do we have to wait another half hour to start boarding? Oh, we've got most of the passengers onto that one. Although it's leaving an hour late, so you know that probably screwed up our. Uh, probably had to cancel a flight because of that. No, nope, we didn't. All right. But if this plane is going into this gate, it was very close to having to cancel flight, but it looks like that plane's going to that gate. They're boarding this one at least, so that's good. Not boarding quite as quickly as I would hope. Uh, but you know what I mean. They're they're moving. They're moving along. There's a lot of people to get boarded onto this plane. We've only got a little over an hour to get the rest of them, and we still don't have everybody in line either. Uh, I don't know what everybody else is up to, but this plane is boarding, so it's moving. Well, no, it's supposed to depart in two minutes. Like what? Uh, what took you so long? Like, all of these people were waiting here before you even pulled up. You arrived at 9. You were supposed to leave at 11. <sighs> Alright, well, let's get, this, uh, let's get this next gate installed over here. Maybe this will help. Um, we're going to go objects. We're going to go ticketing desk. No, not ticketing desk. Gate desk. And those gate desks are going to go down here. Now, these are going to be kind of crowded in this little corner here. But we will figure out a way to get the queues set up in here. That'll be an interesting little experiment. Um, so, uh, if I go like this that one and then this one if I go like that alright and then that one will go up like that cool 
Okay, so uh, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten, twelve, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen, eighteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty. 22. Nope. Alright, I can stop counting at this point because we're just gonna. No, come on. Because we're just gonna do this. Do that. Whoops, this is a small gate, so it doesn't really need to be. doesn't need to be quite as large. We'll run you down like that. There we go. Escape. Where is our truck. Do we have, uh, is this all frickin' locked up again? Save this so I can send in a bug report. Any time now, there we go. Well, guys, uh, yeah, I might have to restart restart a new airport, which is really too bad, because, like, this is going so well. Um, but, like, if we're going to continue to have these, like, that, that has to be due to the fact that we're using an old save game. And, you know, the save game is from, like, three, three patches ago. So, uh, now why would you do that? Car? And, and no cars are using this new road over here, which is really frustrating. But at least our passengers are acting a little more, well, sort of. What the heck are they doing? What are you guys standing out here for when there's... Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Is our trash overflowing? Heh. <laughs> Look at that. Um, zone. Uh, garbage some more garbage capacity in over here. Like that. Should be fine. And we go objects. Dumpster. Like that. There we go. Put these dumpsters in there. Very nice. Alright. Speed it up a little bit. Eventually, they'll get all these things set up in there. Uh, but it's going to take a while for us to get the dumpsters delivered, huh? All right, looks like a bunch of people missed their flights again. What's going on over here? Departs in negative 30 minutes and... Mm, departs in 24 minutes and you're not even close to loaded yet. This gate needs to have stuff assigned. It's a sign. A sign. And then those desks need to have cues assigned to them. A sign. A sign. Like that. Very good. Um, and I need to assign flights to that gate. So let's... I don't really want to add any more flights at this moment. I want to try rearranging some of our existing flights over to this gate so we can just kind of free up um, free up some space between these other flights because um, we would do well I think to have two hours between each flight maybe that will prevent some of the cancellations that we've been running into you are, you're an afternoon flight, right? Alright, so I'm going to move you to there. Um, so we can still fit some more flights in here, that's for sure. If we have two hour gaps. But uh, like I said, I want to kind of make sure that... Uh, I, I still want to be able to keep the passenger flow going through our... Um, 
going through our security and ticketing and all that stuff also. So I don't necessarily need to jam pack any of this stuff in there. But we do have room for a few more flights. I'm going to move you up to here. Great. Uh, so that leaves me plenty of room between those large flights. Um, actually, if I move you down here a little bit, that'll open up some gaps between these ones. All right. So at least there's a little more breathing room for our flights to get through here. Um, hopefully, uh, we can make this work because I really don't want to have to abandon our new or our airport that you know has been going so well and it, it really you know really is looking nice and uh, make me sad if we had to get rid of it um, let's uh, put in some flooring over here to make this area look nice our brand new terminal with our fifth gate uh, but uh, passenger nonsense vehicles cramming in all of this I guess I can put those uh, ticketing kiosks back in and see if they uh, start working again I don't know I don't, I don't really have high hopes for that maybe if I spread them out at least they won't look quite so crowded <laughs> They'll probably still be just as crowded as ever, but at least they won't look that way. But like, what are you guys? What are you guys all standing for in this semicircle? Look, look, look. There's no need. We've got plenty of room. I still have this one employee that insists on standing on this side of her desk for some reason. Why don't you go to the other side of the desk? The desk isn't backwards. It's set up the same as everybody else's. Weirdo. Hey, look at that, though. At least the cars got through. That's because it's almost midnight. Cars don't like to pile up at midnight. Arg. Okay, well, if you're so upset, why are you waiting in line to get your ticket? There we go. Thank you. May as well go home. All right, we've made it to the next day. We've got a bunch of unhappy passengers that apparently their flight got canceled. Yeah, failed to reserve a gate. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Um, it doesn't look like we lost any flights, but at least today with the new distribution of flights, hopefully they will get through a little more smoothly. Uh, it's hard to say, but you know what? I want to see how this works uh, because... If we're still running into massive problems, um, you know, I I just don't see any point in continuing running this airport that is just broken, uh, and not through any fault of the developers or anything, but it's just broken because we can't keep up with all the patches. Um, but you know, what am I going to do? I don't want to spend. Like, we keep starting, and then by the time we get to where we have a fully functioning, like, really good airport, we have to start over, because all... I, I guess I could take us off of the, um... Take us off of the experimental branch, and just put... put Leave us on the, uh... Leave us on the stable branch. Um, but then the experimental branch is where the, uh... Where all these great improvements and stuff are. And we're going to have, like, I'm going to have to start a new airport when the, um, when the uh, trains get introduced. And those are supposed to be introduced pretty soon. Um, and um, the parking garages. So it's like, I don't want to start a new one and then have to start a new one like five days after that either. I don't know. You guys probably don't want to hear me whining and complaining this whole episode about... Uh, how difficult it is to, to try to make YouTube videos for you guys to watch. Because it's not really that difficult. I'm having fun. Hopefully you guys are having fun too. Everybody seems to enjoy watching. For the most part. You know, it looks like I might not have enough bathrooms based on how everybody is just like cramming into this bathroom. Um, the 
There's the passengers are slowly boarding. Moving through at a reasonable rate. Are we going to be able to get this out on time? I guess the, you know, at least we won't have to worry about um, the flights getting canceled because their gates aren't available and stuff. There's plenty of breathing room between flights now. And on these small gates, it's not really a problem. It's only the large gates that are causing us the problems with, uh, with uh, not enough room and stuff. Probably ought to upgrade our runway as well. Let's put those lights on there. That, and we'll put the ILS in there, whatever that's for. And our little pappy lights there and there. All right, so we've got those set up. That's cool. Um, that's right, I want to leave it on a lower speed so we don't have to worry about it. Let's clear out some of this planning. Hmm, doesn't seem to... There seem to actually be any planning on that that is making the colors different. Uh oh. Those trains are planes. Those planes are chasing each other. Do I need to have a uh, alternate route for the planes to get around one another? Seems like can't, they can't pass each other on the tarmac, and it kind of makes sense. So let's build a little taxiway along here. Blocked by road, yeah, I get it. Build a little taxiway over here so they have an alternate route to get around. Is this plane like late or anything? Scheduled arrival eight o'clock, and it's already nine o'clock. Blah, that's not good. It'd be nice if you could designate which runway they use as well. Although I guess the wind changes changes the uh, their ability to use different runways or something. Like I think in real life it does for sure, but in the game, I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, look at this though. The clustering and stuff up there isn't so bad. Um, this plane seems to be boarding okay. This one was supposed to have left at nine, uh, so it's. Um, leaving almost an hour late, which is too bad. Uh, we do have $3 million, so that's good. I don't know where those guys are going. Oh, they're probably coming over here to work on this, work on this runway or, or I mean, uh, tarmac, whatever, whatever those taxiway. Oh, there's all that clustering I was just saying that we don't really have happening anymore. But at least they're spreading out a little bit amongst those, uh, amongst the uh, ticketing booths instead of trying to just use the first three or something. Hmm. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to call that uh, good for this episode. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll let me know down in the comments or click the like button. Uh, just a reminder, I'll be streaming at twitch.tv slash vanilla PC strategy on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. There's details down in the video description. I did stream uh, Sim Airport uh, yesterday, if you watched this video when it first came out. So you can check my Twitch channel uh, for the archives of the video. They should be available. Um, and thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I will see you here again real soon with the next episode. Goodbye.